My character ingests a small amount of plutonium, and I think he probably has no idea what the effect will be on his body. <gasps> what the f No, 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 no. The title of this episode is Acceptable Limits, and I think it's referring to what is the acceptable limit of plutonium that a human being can ingest. Mr. Fedowitz, you swallowed a significant quantity of plutonium. Priority is to retrieve every microgram from your stomach. I think his first concern isn't his own health. It's just getting that stuff back. I already separated four micrograms. I'll get the rest with dilution and recapture. I swear on my father's grave. How, how do you feel? What? Um... What did you do your residency in, doctor? Obstetrics. Oh. Yet you feel confident treating a man who swallowed a quarter of the world supply of PU-239 with a case of beer. For me, Fritz brings the levity to certain situations. I just think he's sort of innocent. I understand you got yourself a situation. You need to talk to the Project Radiation Chief. I know all the urine and blood samples go to his lab for testing. He sets the acceptable limits. I love that title because it doesn't only apply to what's acceptable between, like, what's still professional. But I guess also you see Helen being confronted by these men who don't pay her any attention until she takes over. Who the hell drew these? Some third-rate architect from the Corps of Engineers? So I guess also maybe what are the acceptable limits of a woman scientist. A hundred times more fissionable? All these buildings will go up in smoke. I need a word alone. Don't look at me. You heard my wife? I think that might have been a moment for Charlie to think, I've never seen a woman this smart. And maybe that's all he thinks, or maybe he goes into more romantic thought. In a lot of ways, Charlie and Abby have a modern relationship for the time in the sense that there is a lot of mutual respect. But there's something brewing just a little bit, and then Eliza says, you know, oh, he's off with Helen Prince, and she's kind of like, mm, who is that? And so she knows. Where are you? I'm at the hotel. Must be nice. I'm not even sure at that point that it's a huge rift yet. I think she's just not sure why he won't tell her. Hope you're not too lonely by yourself on that business trip. Should have brought a book. It turns into a little bit of a thing, you know, once that seed is planted, it, it's it's all you can think about it festers, it grows. Listen, I love you. Me too.